Hey guys, what's up? It's Jason from the IT Folk here and I'm doing a very fast video for you guys today to show you how you can get the latest version of uh, QuickTime on your Windows 10 machine. Now if you've already tried it, which I'm sure you have, you'll know that it pops up an error saying that it won't install it because it's not a Windows 7 machine. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to trick your installation of QuickTime into to not really caring which version of uh, Windows it's installing and after you've done that you can then um, go ahead and install it on Windows 10 and it will run fine. All your supporting programs will run. I've tested and verified this. Now I have gone online, I have checked for, for videos and guides and stuff. I found a few long-winded uh, guides um, that get really technical and complex. This is a super easy way of doing it and I think it's probably the fastest way. So I'm just going to get the elephant in the room out of the way first and say that this is a Windows 7 machine that I'm demonstrating on. Demonstrating this on. Um, the reason for that is because this is my, this is the computer that I use for all my YouTube videos and it's got all the video capturing software on it and whatnot, desktop capturing software, whereas the Windows 10 machine at work um, doesn't have any of that on it. But I did do this first of all on the Windows 10 machine and I can promise you it works. And I'm sure the first couple of people to, to test out this process uh, will verify that in the comments link below. Okay, let's get started. So you're going to need three things. Now I'm all about safety. Um, let me just... You're going to need three things. So the the links that I'm going to give you here, they're all f genuine, verified um, official sites like Microsoft and uh, Apple and stuff like that. Um, the first thing you're going to need is uh, 7-Zip. Now, 7-Zip is a piece of software which is probably on everyone's computer. You've probably already got it. If you've already got it, great. If not, download the 64-bit version, if I'm assuming that's what you've got on your computer. Um, it's used for all sorts of file uh, and compression and extraction and whatnot. And we're going to use it to um, extract the, the necessary file from the, the QuickTime installation um, thing. The second thing, I'm not going to download and install this, by the way, because I've already got it. But uh, the second thing we're going to need is obviously um, QuickTime. And you'll get that from the Apple website, comes up top on a Google search. So we're going to download QuickTime, download the installer. And the third thing we're going to need is a program called Orca, Microsoft Orca. Now Orca is what we're going to use to strip out the um, the operating system verification. I know I'm sounding, it sounds quite technical, but trust me, it is dead easy and super quick. Um, now the only way we can get Orca is by... D -d 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 is going th is by downloading the basically the SDK um, developer kit, which again links will be on the the description. Um, and what I'm also going to do is I'm also going to I'm going to upload the, the the file that you need so that you don't have to do this. But if you don't trust it and you just want to download legitimate programs from legitimate websites, then this is the the way to do it. Um, so we're going to download the the web installer. Now some of these things I have already downloaded that as you can see from there. Um, some of these things are in here are quite meaty but we don't need them all so I'll show you which ones to take so go ahead and click on that and install it I agree uh, I'm just going to change my destination because my C drive is getting a bit full but you guys would be safe just to leave it where it is um, disable everything because we don't need all of this rubbish all we need is the Windows developer development tool so de recheck that and that allows you to download the, the program Orca is, in, is contained within that. It does download a lot of other stuff but you can uninstall all this rubbish when you're uh, when you're done and then click on next and that will start downloading. So I'm just gonna put some of these on my web on my desktop so we can see what's happening. So we've got the QuickTime installer. Um, we've got the web developers kit which is now installing. Um, depending on your internet connection it should be fairly quick. Um, and 7-Zip, I'm assuming you've now downloaded and you've installed that. And uh, and that's basically it. So let me just close this down now. We don't need any of that. Let this install. I'll probably cut a little bit out of the video just to speed things up a little bit. Okay, so that's that now installed. That's the SDK, the SDK kit installed. So what we now need is we need to find Orca. Now you will find in your programs list that it is now... Here we are, you've got Windows SDK kit, but there's nothing really in there that, that is helpful. So you need to go to where you the location that you installed that. Now where we installed that, where I installed that was in the B drive, it was program files, Microsoft SDK Windows 7.0 bin. If I'm going too fast for you, don't worry. Hey, that's the beauty of YouTube. You've got a pause button there and a rewind button. Um, so it's in the bin file and you want to scroll down until you find the Orca. Uh, OP, Orca, Orca, Orca. So we've got the Orca MSI file. 
and then you want to go ahead and install Orca. Except I'm just going to custom because I just want to check where it's actually going to install it. So it's going to be C program files Orca. So we just need to remember that. In fact, what I might do is just copy that so that I can paste it in quickly. So go ahead and install Orca. And that's Orca installed. So once Orca is installed, you get the option to launch the application when finished. Just check that and we'll have that on standby. Because the next thing we need to do is we need to extract the MSI file from the QuickTime um, package. And the way you'll do that is by using 7-zip. Now, if you've just recently installed 7-zip, you should have, when you right click on it, you should have a 7-zip um, option here in your sub menu where you can then just extract here. But for some reason, it's disabled on mine and I can't be bothered going through the, the options to find out how and get that back on. So I'm just going to go through the, the long way by going into so open up 7-zip directly and then locating the QuickTime installer. So that's just basically this one here. Click on extract. I'm going to extract it to my desktop and that basically is that folder there. So that's us finished with 7-zip. Uh, with the only thing we need to do now is use Orca. Now in this folder you've got a number of uh, programs and sub-programs and installers, but the only one we really need is the QuickTime one. So I'm just going to pull it out onto my desktop. And then within Orca, file, open, scroll down until you find your QuickTime MSI. It's actually an MSI package here. And open that, and that basically extracts it into the Orca program. Now, it looks complicated, but you don't have to worry. The only thing you're interested in is launch condition. This is basically the the the, 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 the bit in the program that tells it not to run on anything but Windows 7 or Windows Vista or Windows XP. So you want to right click on that and you want to drop the table and click yes. And then when you try and exit it'll ask you if you want to save. Save your changes to QuickTime and that is it guys. You will now be able to run this uh, QuickTime installation on your Windows 10 machine. It'll, it'll just install as normal and it will work flawlessly on your Windows 10 machine and your Windows 10 programs um, that need quick time will work with it so there you go uh, hopefully you've enjoyed that or at least <laughs> uh, you'll get some benefit of it um, if you that if that's the case then please hit the subscribe button and please hit that like button and i will see you in my next video thanks very much